Hey people, Richie Wolfhard here. Today I'm checking out the Fuzz Factory from Cvex. It's pretty hard to understand this pedal. And uh, actually, you know, I don't really understand it. I know how to use it. Um, and um, I think nobody on planet Earth actually does understand this pedal because it's alien technology, so we can't understand it. But we can try to use it anyway. So let's check this thing out. Uh, so let's see. This is my, my straight guitar tone. And this is the volume at about noon. So I think that's uh, quite all right. I'll just leave it at that point. Yeah, it's loud enough. It's good. Next thing is the gate. The way I use the gate is... Uh, right now I have all this noise. Like when I'm not playing. You can hear that hissing. All that crap. You just cut it away. Woo! Here we go. Nice. So that's not too hard to understand either. Um, next thing, the compression. Now what does the compression do? Obviously it compresses the tone. Now the thing is, um, when you have a fuzzy guitar tone, it's already pretty compressed anyway. So um, we're compressing it even more will actually act kind of like a gate. Uh, like, check this out. I have the compression turned up all the way right now. Now when I play any tone, because the compression is so high, the, what do you call it, the threshold is so low that what I would have to play is, um, would have to be so loud for the compression to even allow it to, um, to not be compressed. <laughs> so I'll dial it back a little bit. Now it's still pretty compressed. It's, it's a good sustain, but at a certain point, it just kills the tone and that's exactly what the compressor uh, is doing right here because of the th uh, threshold because it's so low and also you can notice that uh, it changes the character of uh, the tone a little bit I guess it sounds a little bit more open the less compression it has like almost a little bit more treble very gated fuzz tone. I like to use it for like this kind of riff. We have like these uh, very powerful stops um, where you really need the, that quietness of the gate. sounds uh, cooler if you have like a drop D. Uh, any, any kind of shit like that really sounds cool with this kind of setting. So the next knob, again, uh, very easy to understand, uh, the drive. The more drive you have, the more fuzz you have, obviously. That's not hard to understand. So the next knob, actually, the stab. I looked it up, and it's uh, supposed it's uh, it's short for stability. Uh, at least that's what I found out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I guess the uh, farther you turn it um, anti-clockwise. Glitchier the tone gets, and that's true. So let me get some drive, less compression. And now I have to turn all the way to the left, counterclockwise. 
And I guess that's what they mean with the, uh, with the glitches. That when you um, when you hit a note and just get that that kind of stuff. Maybe a little less gate. Yeah, yeah. That's the glitches. And of course, and now uh, you now you're noticing. The knobs interact with each other. Uh, instability is turned up a lot because it's counterclockwise. So I should have a lot of glitches, but these glitches will not appear if my gate is like right here. It's gonna kill all my glitches that I want. So I have to put down the gate a little bit. Here we have. Yeah, right. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Here we go. So let's see if that's true. If I turn it on the way, clockwise, now I should have less glitches. I have this noise because my gate is not uh, engaged right now. But no glitches. Just a fairly straight, fuzzy guitar tone. Cool sound. So again, the way I like to set it up is like a little bit of glitches. I like the gate to kill all that noise. Um, I like the compression not too high. When I, when I turn it up too high, the compression, I kind of uh, have the feeling that it kills the the tone. Uh, I keep it around noon. Same thing with the drive. Like obviously, obviously, too much drive won't sound good, and if you don't turn it up, then why even engage it? And the stability, like I said, a little bit of glitch is cool. And now um, the really crazy thing is with these oscillators, you can uh, you can put it on neutral, which is the middle position, and then you can add uh, two octaves downwards. Oh man, you know what? I I had it on the two octaves downward the whole time. I was I wanted to have it on the middle position actually because this is a neutral position. So as you're noticing right now, wherever you have it, that little switch is going to change the character of the tone dramatically. So everything I just told you, I how I would set up my fuzz, now that I switched it back to the neutral position, I have to do it all over again because actually I don't like this sound. I like this sound. And this makes this pedal even more crazy, even more hard to understand. But it adds some more options, which are quite quite cool, I think. It definitely makes the tone thicker if you add some octave. This is two octaves below, I think. No, this is three octaves below. This is none. It's a lot thinner. And this is two octaves. Which is the thickest, which is crazy. You know, three should be thicker than two, but it's not. So, to sum this up, I think the Fuzz Factory, the Fat Fuzz Factory, it's a really cool pedal. Um, it sounds killer. It's really hard to understand, but you don't have to understand it. At least I don't. I just uh, set it up to a cool sound. You can imitate a lot of different fuzzes with it. Um, you can get a great gated fuzz sound, which I think is a killer sound. Um, it's not a pedal that I keep on turned on. I just uh, turn it on if I want a specific sound 
like for the intro of a of a guitar, uh, for the intro of a song. I think that's a cool pedal um, for studios and recording uh, stuff. It's amazing, and uh, let's see how things are gonna go when uh, we can go back to playing live shows. And uh, I can tell you more on uh, how I integrate that pedal into uh, my live rig. Maybe I'll kick it off if I don't use it enough, but maybe it's gonna stay. this typical thing of fuzzes that when you turn down the volume knob just a bit it cleans up it still has the, that fuzzy thing but it's uh, it's kind of like a travel boost you know what I mean it's normal now I turn it back it's a lot more trebly which is cool when you have, want to play something more clean because treble is gonna help Too trebly, you still got your tone knob. So people, I hope you liked that little review. Please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, sus uh, comment, subscribe, and like. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.